Hello, welcome back. Last time I went through Bamboo Creek again and uh, then found my way into the Tower of Time in the past. So that was fun. I have three out of four Phobkins. Uh, so we're getting reasonably close to repairing that bridge. What I want to do today though is try to make my way back to the end of Searing Crag and talk to the Colossuses again. You got anything else to say? No, I already checked that. Beautiful sunset, hungry botanists. You've been waiting a while. It's been a while since I got one of those musical notes. So I had a thought just like a minute ago, um, which was that perhaps what I need to get through um, the dark cave. I'm going to have to go a long way for this. This will be quite a journey, but this seems like the most straightforward way to go. There might be an alternate, but this is what I'm choosing to do. Um, going to take as direct a route as I feel like I reasonably can here. Uh, yeah, so from Quilshrew Marsh all the way to the end of Searing Gorge. Uh, something something right. So th what I need to see in the Dark Cave might not be something so mundane as like a lantern, but what if it is this Gift of True Sight or whatever it is that I get from from doing the flower quest? Just an idea. We'll see how that goes. Uh, I am here. This is not the direction I want to go. Alright, so I'm going straight to Critical Path here. Well, not in this time. So if I had a time portal, then maybe I could get through there. Okay, there's time magic here. I'm going very backwards, that's fine. This is designed to be gone through backwards, I can tell. By the way that it is. Uh, okay, so that's fine, that wall's climbable. Like all walls. Alright, so there was no time magic that I saw in that room. The map says there's some, but I didn't find it. Uh, but this is new, so let's go here. My eyes were not on the entire screen that whole time, so it probably was there and I just wasn't looking in the spot. This has taken me to a Oh, this is Quilshire Marsh. Okay, so alternate Quilshire Marsh path. Ah, right. That takes me close to where I want to be. Cool. I was just doing a little practice speedrun in another game, so my fingers are kind of in go-fast mode. So I might play, like, super fast and sloppy right now. Uh, I'll try not to be too much that way, but if some of it happens, that might be why. Okay, well this already looks like Searing Crag scenery. Oh, this is an alternate way, okay. I'm just in a whole, like, alternate dimension here. Okay, that leads up, probably. This is promising. And it's nice to know that I'm in, like, a whole new place. That's always good. So two places that I know I will be going at some point are Dark Cave and Forlorn Temple. Just gotta meet some requirements first. I mean, I've been to Dark Cave. Oh, hey, cool. I activated a portal, finally. That did not indeed show up on my map before I activated it, so that's how that works. Oh, okay. Hey, I found you. Okay, you're the last one. Um, I can't get across there without dying. I need something special. Okay. Well, I've been shown a goal. Perhaps True Sight will help me see something I need to see there. And I can't visit there in the future. No, not at all. I'm just checking to see if, like, those collide with something. So I'm thinking True Sight will perhaps show me, um platforms that don't currently exist and make them pop into existence based on what I'm seeing there that is my current guess so if I wanted to be in the past which I do because I need to plant this flower seeds 
and this is how I would do it. Very convenient. Okay, this was like no time at all to get here. <laughs> I expected this to take a long time. It did not. Hey, birds. You can live. I just wanted to slash you a couple of times. Oops. Thanks. Alright, Colossus is just up here, right? Flower bed, etc. Okay, so hey, you two got anything to say? Hey, little guy, see our flower bed? Once our thistle is fully grown, we'll add it to our stew and see how strong it makes us. You said it, Seuss. I called it Colossus. <laughs> okay, so same conversation with both. Uh, that's not a way I can go up. You mind if I plant a second flower here? Excuse me? What's up, little guy? Can I use the corner of your flower bed? I have a seed to plant. I don't see why not. Concerns, Colos? Nick Suzus. Be our guest, little guy. All right. Great. It will take a long time for anything to grow in there. All right, these guys will tend to it. They'll water it and stuff, I'm sure. Let's go to the future. Whee! Oops. Eh, get off that wall. Alright, so what's this look like in the future? Are they long-lived enough for me to see them 500 years later? <laughs> Is our power thistle going to be just about ready to eat in the stew? I see now why such a big deal was made in the dialogue about the, the power thistle. It makes sense eventually, but it just seemed like super out of place back then. Okay, Colossuses, are you still alive up here? No, they died. <laughs> Alright then, their stew is still okay. They were too patient for their own good. They just waited forever and starved. Wow. Alright. Oh, I took the power thistle too. Oh, I can take it to them and maybe, like, revive them in the past. Oh, cool. Time to prevent two dumb brothers from waiting to death. All right. So they're brothers. Astral tea leaves. Ninja Elder should know what to do with these. <laughs> and it'll take a long time for anything to grow in there. Well, sure. All right, so you two. Um, oh, hey, I'm curious. Now that I've done this, he still says same thing. I got them this time. Oops. Uh, no, no. I want to be here. So, hey, you two. I have a power thistle for you. You might enjoy it. Let's see how strong they get from it. Oops, that did not count as a cloud step like I thought it was going to. Uh, can I look at... Oh, hold on, I want to see something. Uh, it looks like the perfect addition to a dish. Okay. Wonder if they'll share any of their stew with me. Take a long time. Hey, it's the little guy again. What is up? I have your power thistle. <laughs> huh? Hey, he's not kidding, Colos. So I see, Susus. Never mind how you pulled this off, little guy. Throw it into the stew. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Colos? Oh, this is where it gets serious, Susus. It's chugging time! I guess I threw it in the stew. <laughs> I'm satiated, Susus. I'm content, Colos. Shall we test how strong it made us, Susus? It's all I crave, Colos. Don't move, little guy. Oh, am I about to get punted somewhere further? Well, now I need some sleep, Susus. I reckon, Colos. Thanks for everything, little guy. I landed... here. Okay, well, instead of going to the top of a mountain, well, the foot of a mountain, 
I was taken elsewhere in the same zone. That didn't particularly seem to me like it made you stronger. Um, shopkeeper just, like, doesn't have anything to say anymore, and I missed my chance to talk to him. He did say something in his last story about how, well, this is the end of my storytelling, or something like that. So I guess I expected that. But yeah, I don't think story events like that will have a, an impact on his his dialogue options. I'll check next time I see him, though. But again, like, the prophet is my, is my guide now, right? Don't know where I am or what I'm doing here, but I'm somewhere, doing something. Wait, what? Did I miss something? Hold on, am I back around to a place I've already been, or is this new? I guess this is new, okay. Wait, that was confusing. No, I'm back around to a place I've already been. I'm trying to go down, so I need to like... Well, I can just do this. I guess that up there is just when I want to go back. Okay. Hey, bird. Whoops, I, uh, help me out, bird. You didn't. Shoot. At least there was a save up there, and you know what? I can, uh, check the shopkeeper now. Uh, nothing. Okay. Uh... No. So yeah, 2,000 for the next thingy. Quarble way off screen is eating that. So I know that the shop, like, resides physically in this location, way down in the lower left. As I'm shown by Quarble flying off screen and... So that spike ball, it's not there now. Why does it change when I go through this sequence? I guess I end up in a different time. So yeah, I came down in the past, returned in the past, then I'll come down and land in the... F no, I came down in the future. I'm confused. Somehow this all works. Yeah, I'm in the past now on this side. Okay, it makes sense. I was just confused for some reason. It all makes sense. Those don't fall for a while. I don't need to get off them immediately. I can wait for stuff like that. Oh, shoot, I don't have... Okay, well, that was silly. Okay. Do I have all my silly mistakes out now? Remember how the cloud step works. You don't get it unless you actually slash something in the air. Like that. There we go. Okay, I'm somewhere. Hey, it has a musical note. Okay. Makes sense. Well, I got one. Never gonna see what the prophecy for that was, but I was just kind of... Oh, well, no, the prophecy was the botanist in the sunset, right? I mean, that's what directly led me here, basically. Key of Strength. All right. Forced into being by Colos and Seuss's physical feats, it is one of the notes needed to create a melody that will break the curse. Okay. There's a skull here. And a cactus. And now I'm here. Uh, those, like, unfilled edges are slightly bothersome, but I don't think it's anything. Didn't look like a place I could really go. There's one other thing to he see here. A leftward path down there. Oh, and a... R oh, right. Oh, and a leftward path there. You know what? That one has a portal near it, so it doesn't matter, but I'm closer to this. So let's check that now. Uh, are there spikes all down there? Yes. I was wondering if I could just fall in the middle. The answer was no. Uh, these are non-death pits. So I wanted to be just left of here. Whoops, I, okay, I pressed the button, but he didn't button. So, just down from here. Okay, so I need to be in a different time, and there's time magic down there. Let's try it. 
Uh, that's a death pits. I avoided it. Uh, maybe. Time magic? There's my time magic. Okay. Uh, so I have to do this now, which worked. Okay, here we go. Here's a place. That's a save. This is going to be for a power seal. It sure is. Alright, this looks like fun. Invincibility. Lasts a long time from the... Oh, okay. But I don't go forward as fast as... Hmm. So hang on, right. Invincibility lasts not through that. Right, it doesn't last that long. Or maybe it doesn't apply if I do it that way. I mean, if I were just invincible after that, then it wouldn't even... Uh, what the... Okay, a couple of things happened confusingly there. Then it wouldn't even matter that those were there. So let's assume it matters. So I want to cloud step off of that one, jump, and then... Uh, rope dart to the other one. I keep, keep taking a hit, though. So there's something to this that I'm not doing the way the game expects me to. I think if I'm quick enough, I could probably jump from this surface over there before that thing rotates around all the way. All right, so let's try a different way of doing this. Uh, that technically didn't work, almost. 70 times, good for you. All right, so let's see if this works. Uh, well, okay, you know what? <laughs> That's a way of doing that. Okay, you know what? That's a way of doing that. I'll take it. Wasn't pretty, but it did work. Where was I? I guess invincible, uh, invisible from hit stun. And invincible. Both. Okay, so that was this place. I am ready to walk through a portal, I think. Unless I want to go to Quilshroom Marsh from here. Is there anything that would be interesting if I did that? Nah. I mean, there's a right word exit from there, but... Well, can I get there easily from elsewhere, or is this, like, the closest I'm going to get to it? Well, you know what I'm closer to than that. I am closer to the Tower of Time than I am to that exit. So I'm going to go to the Tower of Time. I'll come back here later if I need to. So first of all, new prophecy. Where the curse is strongest, a magic seashell awaits the one who doesn't fear drowning. Oh. Where the curse is strongest. Pr maybe here? The curse. Well, now hang on. The curse. Which curse? Quilshroom Marsh is said to be a very unfriendly place. Howling Grotto is haunted. I mean, there's the catacombs full of necromancy. Forlorn Temple is the home of the Demon King. <laughs> All of these are places where the curse is pretty strong. Where is it strongest? Let's go to Ninja Village, since I have a thing. Also, turn this music note. Oh, I see. Those uh, non-tone sounds are the empty slots. So I just got the third... Okay, I understand how it is. Uh, as fate would have it, uh, beautifully have it. Only by creating a melody from the crystallized forces of this world can the curse be broken. This curse. There's a place where it's strongest. I need to not fear drowning to get a magic seashell. So seashell... I mean, the Demon King first came in there. There is the sea here, but there's an invisible wall preventing me from getting to it. So yeah, that clue doesn't really bring anything obvious to mind at the moment. 
but maybe I'll figure it out later like I did with the Colossus's Clue. I feel like I've been through this path a lot of times by now. Right, so Ninja Village. I have the... what do I have? Astral Tea Leaves. And I still have some Power Thistle. I like how that's um, very convincingly a Thistle Flower. Like, that's exactly what a Thistle Flower looks like. True to its name. Now to get back to Ninja Village, I mean, I can just go this way, right? There's nothing, nothing more to it. I feel like there was one spot along here that the time magic made hard to get through, though. That's my recollection. But it might be wrong. And I know I've been to Ninja Village, so it can't be that hard. In fact, this is way easier. Whoa, careful. Almost tried to go too fast. Oh, I... okay, so invincibility doesn't start until I do my slash, of course. So if I rope dart into an enemy, but there's another in front of it, then I'm gonna take a hit. Good to know. So back to the future, but I want to be in the past. Uh, I've been up there, yes, that was a power seal. Time magic. Do you exist in Ninja Village? Yes. Uh. Oh, those just reveal spikes. That's pretty funny. <laughs> so open those up if you want to put your face into those particular spikes. I'll take those, sure. Still trying to get to 2,000. I'm not too far off. Again, I don't think it'll happen today, but I'm gonna get real close. Alright, so again, I need time magic. There it is. I found it. And here we go. Hey, Elder Man. Welcome, young adventurer. Greetings, Elder. I got the tea leaves. An impressive feat, it would seem you have mastered time itself. Ah, to taste astral tea once again. You have brought an old man great joy. Thank you and farewell, brave messenger. Yes? You were supposed to use the tea to expand my mind and grant me the power of true sight. Ah yes, the power of true sight. Apologies. As it ages, the mind tends to err indeed. Here's a candle for you. Okay. <laughs> so power of true sight is a candle. Or in other words, an ordinary wax candle. Cool. Well, I know exactly what to do with that. <laughs> what does it say about it? Very dark place, help you see at least a little bit. Okay. Well, um, sure. Uh, let's just check. For a quick... Well, now, hold up. What about in the future here? Does future still have invisible wall? Where the curse is strongest... Not afraid to drown. Because there was definitely something preventing me from going into the water in the past. But what about here? There is indeed an invisible wall there. Okay, well, guess that's not happening. Alright. I cannot duck and rope darts. <laughs> I was curious. There would be... Rare circumstances where that would ever come into play, but I wanted to find out. Yeah, that's kind of become my favorite tool here. It took me a bit to, to learn to use it, but it's a very, very good tool. So let's see, where do I want to be? Tower of Time, I guess. Uh, prophecy is currently where the curse is strongest. Yeah, I don't know what that means yet. Why am I going to the Tower of Time? I guess a portal to nearest to the dark cave, maybe something something. 
So I'm back in the past here again, which is fine. All I need is a shop. There will be one somewhere eventually. Hey, oh right, I have a recovery jump that I could have used there. That's fine. I would look at my map for the shop, but I know this is just a straightforward path, so it wouldn't help me get there any faster. It's wherever it is, and I'll get there when I get there. Here it is. Right. This first one. Ah, uh, yes. Go in. So, um... So I opened that portal. There's another one to open. This is in Quillshroom Marsh, I'm fairly certain. This one is in Forlorn Temple, probably. Um, let's do this. So yeah, you just have where the curse is strongest. Um, the candle is the type of true sight that's just light, so that won't help me get the other phobkin over the lava. Okay, these two are diff slightly different colors. This one's more notice noticeably different. So necro, acro, claustro. Forget what the other one was. Pyro, yes, pyrophobe, over the pit of lava, of course. All right. I'm missing an ability. I wonder which one it is. Maybe it's the, the upgrade that I'm saving up for right now. Um, I feel like I shouldn't start the Dark Cave right now. So why don't I try and get back to... How do, how do I... There we go. I want to talk to the Phobkins and see how long it's going to take them to repair the bridge with three of them. What is their prediction? So the portal would be there in Autumn Hills. Little bit of a walk, but shouldn't take too long. But you know what? I've been through this zone enough times today, so see you in a bit. All right, this should be the spot. Phobkin's right over here. So it was nine to 500 years in the future when there was only one. Let's see how it does with three. Also, I haven't talked to my new friends here. Still missing Pyro, I'm so worried. At this rate, the bridge will be repaired in 500 years. Okay. Makes sense. Uh, oh. Acro and uh, Claustro don't talk to me. Okay. So three of them takes a thousand years. I'm gonna guess four of them take 500 years. Therefore zero in the, uh, you know. Okay, um, so I'm just gonna position myself Let's see, there's nothing to slash here. I can't slash those guys, and nothing about doing this will help. It hits the wall and just sort of goes clink. Okay, how quickly can I position myself at the dark cave entrance? It's just down there. That's where I want to be. Sure, I'll do it in the future. Why not? That's where I'm going next time. Actually, you know, how do I know that's not the place where the curse is strongest? It could be. I know basically nothing about the Dark Cave, though, so I have no reason to think it is any more than I think that of any other zone. That health refill traveled through time with me. How nice. One who does not fear drowning. So everything in this game so far has been marked. Like all the ways I can go off the screen. I haven't yet found a path on the map. A path that is not marked on the map that is a place that I can go. I don't know if they exist. But so far it's just been that like, if there's a place like that that I have to go, then the map's going to change to let me find it. I keep forgetting that I can't steer up to swim up. I have to press the jump button, but if I if I steer down, I fall uh, sink faster. It confuses me.
That still looks so suspicious to me down there. Where the curse is strongest, those who don't fear drowning. No, it's not that. Oops. Alright, so Dark Cave was like just in here or so? See, I just want to park myself there, just so we don't have to go through this whole trip next time when I'm ready to go explore a new place. That's the plan. I hope I haven't gone by it, no. Do I want to change timelines? Um, yes, because that's how I get in there. Pretty sure that's the place. Go away, bats. You're kind of in my way. That's a little uncomfortable to get into. Okay, so down here, right? Let's at least see how this candle works. Okay, candle works like that. Just a little bit of... Oh, I get it. So what that's going to let me do is see down there so that the formerly dark pit is no longer a death pit. No, it just lets me see those. So that's how I proceed. Got it. Okay, that is still a death pit. I just have to know that I need to use my rope dart there. All right, cool. I'll see you next time for this place.